What you doing, Curtis? Man, don't speak. Mm. You be all right tomorrow. Then you told me to call you, so I guess I called you. Ouch. I'm not in her house. What? Yeah, it was wrong. It was fucked up and shady, but that's life. That's how that's how the damn cookie crumbles. And it fell on my head. How did it fall on your head, Curtis? Because I ruined the friendship that we had. Yeah, you yeah. I'm not gonna deny that. Because I don't, I can't trust. I couldn't trust you. I, I mean, I, I, I told you shit. We had conversations, and I told you about what previous niggas have done to me. I told you about what that nigga. I'm not gonna say his name, but you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. And then you turned around and you said. That you wouldn't do that to me, and then you turn around and you did it. You and then what made it, what 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 added insult to injury was the fact that you said I love you, and you and you I don't you knew I you know I didn't play with that word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you and you you used that word against me and made me feel like an ass. Seriously, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't blame you for not talking to me. I didn't blame you, I blame myself. But and then you turned around and you wanted me to talk to you while you while while you was calling her and talking to her on the phone. You would it, it was like slick shit. You was like, Well tell her I said hi. Like like, like I was gonna say hi back to you. At that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then what made me also mad was when I was like, well, what if I had done that to you? You was like, I, I don't care. Yes, you would have. You would have cared. You would have been hurt. You would have been fucked up, mad about it. All that type of shit. Because of, of the situation and the things that you told me about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you would have been mad. You would have been upset. Just like I was mad and upset. Or whatever. And then it's like, you know, yes, yeah, she asked me questions about me and you. And I wasn't going to lie to the girl. I wasn't going to sit up there and I wasn't trying to make you look bad. But she asked me because she wanted to know. And so I'm just like, you know. When she come back and she was like, well, he said that he didn't do this and he didn't do that. And I'm like, well, that's what he said, but I don't have to lie on him. It's like it's it's like you was trying to make me look bad to win to get brownie points with her. And the shit wasn't cool. So then you wanted me to talk to you and be your friend and you was calling my house. And I thought it was kind of slick, too, when, like. When she had people living here with her, and you wanted to find out what was going on with her, you knew how to get in touch with her. But no, you wanted to call her over in my face. Or whatever. That's the way I took it. That's why I would always hang up on you and be like, well, you know how enough you need to call her. Or whatever. But I felt like what don't need for you to be calling me no more if you was trying to holler at her. What don't need for me and you to have any communication with each other. Excuse me, if you were trying to holler at her, with no need for it. 
That's why I wouldn't talk to you. That's why I don't have nothing to do with you. Because I specifically told you stuff that happened between me and other guys. And you took that shit and just completely smacked me in my face. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a Christian. I I learn how to forgive. I can forgive, but it's gonna be it, it's what? But you can't forgive. Exactly. Exactly. But you, but you chose her. I'm not mad about it, but I mean that's the, that's just the way you feel. But but the fucked up shady part of it was, you was on my top list on MySpace, and she was too. You knew who she was. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you didn't know who she was. I mean. You knew who she was. You know what I'm saying? Because there was times in me, there was times that I would talk about her and be like, you know, my cousin and, you know, I hang with her and stuff. And I even mentioned her name to you. So it's not like you knew who she, not like you didn't know who she was. I just felt like you took it as, okay, if I can't have her, then fuck it, I'm finna get back at her and, and throw it in her face and go holler at her cousin. I don't. I I have people on my top list for a reason. If if you know what I'm saying, you was on there for a reason. Cause you was my friend. You was somebody that I thought I could just be able to call and talk to when I was going through a, the the stuff that I was going through. And then you wanted me to be your friend again. I mean, like, are you serious? I just couldn't do that. Right right then. And I probably won't be able to do it ever because, you know what I'm saying, y'all y'all cool and shit. And I'm not, you know what I'm saying, trying to put salt in nobody game, but I don't know. Man, I really do apologize for everything. I mean, like I said, I, I can forgive, but I just can't forget. And that's and that's probably gonna be, you know, something between me and you that probably won't be fixed because, you know, what I'm saying I thought I could trust you. You you told me I could trust you. You told me that. You told me I can trust you. When I was emotional and crying on the phone, you told me, April, you can trust me, or. I'm here for you and all this and that, and then you turn it around and do it in my face. You even you you even lucky that you were still even on my list. Period. Even though I took you off my top list, because I felt like I, pe people people des people that's on my list deserve to be on there because they earned to be on there. They're not up there just to be up there. They up there because they earned a spot to be up there. Right. And you earned it and then you lost it, so. But, I don't know. I mean, I called you or whatever. I mean, I don't know if we could be friends again or not. I have to think about that really long and hard. Because it's going to be hard for me to trust somebody that really betrayed me and hurt me. Because I take, I, take, I take friendship very seriously. Very seriously. That's why I have a few people in my life now because of stuff like this.